Hey Greg, it's Jesse. Uh, just leaving a message. If you could just get back to me when you can, I'd, uh, I'd really appreciate it. Bye. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Yo, Will, Will, have you seen Sensei Greg? No, hang on, hang on. What, what Jesse? Have, have you seen Greg? What do you mean? Is he missing? I, I, I can't find him. Abby Sharp's basement. Abby Sharp's basement. Wait, man, I, I really gotta go. I'm in, I'm in the, I'm in the middle of something. Uh, all right, I'll let you. What do you? I'm not gonna ask. I'm not gonna ask. I am hiding harder than last time. Good luck finding me. James West here. Hope you guys are ready for an amazing, magnificent, and exquisite video. We're gonna be reviewing my main man, Sensei Greg, AKA Greg Doucette to some of you guys. We're gonna be sipping on our coffee, eating French toast, and reviewing his entire cookbook number two. Can you keep it down? I'm filming! We have a dope meal for meal number one. Before we even get into that, only about 48% of you are subscribed to the channel. So let's run that number up and let's change things, boys. Subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notifications, and drop a like for the boys back home. I appreciate you guys and I love you. We're chasing a million this year and I'd really appreciate it if you help me get there. Taste test for the boys back home? We got, of course, when it's wetter, it's better, okay? If she ain't dripping, then I ain't drowning. I've never had any sort of filling French toast. I've filled a lot of things in my life, let me tell you that. Greg, Greg, you naughty boy. Yo, hold up, one more, one more. I need another, I need another one. It's right here. No, no. Holy crap, it's so soft and warm and gooey on the inside. That's what he said. That is what Greg said. I'm gonna sit back, relax, and enjoy this. So far, tasting amazing. I'm gonna dive in, I'm gonna conduct a full on research project, and then we're gonna decide what I rate this. Sensei Greg, let it be known. Last bite, best bite, baby! Bye, Kendra. So, for an official rating of the amazing stuffed French toast, I'm gonna give creativity because we know that's the most important factor. I'm giving it a 10. Greg, you went all out and there's definitely an improvement of your French toast this time around. A taste, 10, and fullness, I'm gonna give it a nine because I simply craved more after I ate it, but I am very full, so we're just gonna give it a nine. All right, guys, we're heading over to the gym in just a second, but listen, stim free pre for the boys. Everything's for the boys, let's be real. Code Jesse saves you 10% off and you support me and my wild endeavors. Let's go to the gym. So we are looking at a solid 55 grams of protein, 80 grams of carbs, and only four fat. Super good macros. Great way to start the day. We're gonna walk over to the gym. Actually, I'm gonna ride over. Grant's gonna walk. Sorry, buddy. And this is Grant's board, so comment below. Shout out Grant. <laughs> Let's go. Oh God! It's single motion! Oh! Are you okay? Are you okay? No way! Ow! I just broke my elbow. Ow! I f***ing gunned it. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe because I just looked like... <laughs> At least I was here and not in front of a bunch of people. Yeah, thank God. The fit spire though. <laughs> Go Jesse, get yourself a rise. <laughs> Help me with my elbow. <laughs> it's single mom season, boys. Here we go! So we are inside Zoo Culture right now. We're about to hit a back and bicep workout. My main man, Sensei Greg, is giving me a call, so I guess we'll we'll pick up and be nice and say we see what he's doing. Who you calling? Uh don't worry about it. Uh, okay. <laughs> hey! Greg! What's up? Uh, not much. What are you doing? Doing the bike? We're there you go. I had the first meal like French toast roll up. I loved it. One of my girlfriend's favorites. She likes it more than me. In the entire cookbook, what's your go-to overall? I think the best tasting thing would have to be the popcorn and add all the popcorn. Okay, I gotta give that a shot later. Yeah, I'm about to hit a back day. What do you think I should start with? Dead. Oh. You're doing well, man. Apparently, we have to do deadlifts now. I wasn't really gonna plan on doing deadlifts. Let's get going. Thanks, Greg. So I have not done deadlifts in quite some time. I really want to get back into it. Maybe this is a sign from the Sensei Greg that I need to start doing this. I mean, he told me to. If you guys want to see me deadlift more and maybe pull five plates for once or grow some shoulders, let me know. Okay. Yes, I pull sumo. Okay, we're 
running it up today. Alright, so we're gonna be maxing out today. Grant's convinced me five plates is in the bag. I've never done this, so if I do this, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button because your boy's about to slap five plates. Let's go. Last Friday night. For two. For two. I guess the anabolic French toast works. Hit that subscribe button. I'm about to pass out. Let's Back go. Boys. Subscribe. Do back off sets, but I'm gonna end it there. I don't want to push it too hard because the second you get cocky is the second you get injured. So be careful when you're maxing out. But otherwise, let's go, baby. <laughs> Said we're moving into accessories. Now this is kind of how I used to train a year or two ago where I do powerlifting and then bodybuilding. If you guys truly want to see me do some more powerlifting stuff, definitely comment down below, hashtag powerlifting. But we're gonna do some pull-ups and some lat pull-downs. We're focusing on the width of the back today, not so much the girth. Listen, the length is just as important as the girth, okay? I'm gonna keep telling myself till the day I die. Let's get it. Dark one off! Alright boys, it's officially time for a full tarps off. I'm feeling juicy right now. Anthony Mattel, where are you at? When you guys are doing any sort of back movement, it's always really tough to actually feel your back activate because you guys are thinking pull your elbow, pull your hand, whatever. It's more about the shoulder retraction in your scapulas. But if you bring your shoulder down like this, you can get your back so much more engaged and get so much more growth that way. Once I started focusing on that, and when you can really control and let loose and then bring it in tight, you'll really, really feel your back. Give it a shot. Are you hearing that right now? What's that? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Are right, we gonna hit a workout right now? We're gonna do. I would say a nice dumbbell row for the boys. Is everything for the boys? Comment down below and let me know. Dumbbell row. We're gonna do four sets, eight reps, heavy, and we're just no talking. Shh. Some rows with a super set of a preacher curl, doing one arm at a time. As most of us guys have one arm stronger than the other, and I won't say why. We gotta make sure you're doing your unilateral work. We got more coach drag recipes coming up real quick. exception when you pause your workout and you take a moment a nice person comes up to you or two a single mom approaches you but one day that's all i'm gonna say just one day we'll have that happen so i'm gonna let you in on a little secret don't sit don't not tell anyone okay when you, when you put on a weight soft on the entry okay then you practice your safe sets use protection and it's a safe future that's all
right there is a full wrap on the workout. We're gonna head back, go get some, I believe, protein muffins and a grilled cheese or something. Make sure you guys give this workout a shot. It's absolutely killer. I did about four sets, 12 reps of everything. If you need a workout plan, go to jessejameswest.com. Get yourself a plan. It supports me, it supports the channel to make some more banger content. Let's get out of here. We're headed back to the house. We're gonna go get some food. All I'm gonna say is that just be on the lookout for a stay at home mom workout featuring a stay at home mom. You know the vibes, boys. Oh, how'd it go? How'd it go? Oh! Oh! oh no! Wow. Welcome back to another edition of Jesse's Apartmento Kitchen. That's apartment in Spanish. We're gonna be cooking up a sloppy Greg. You know, sometimes you get a sloppy Jesse. Kudos to you, Greg. And then we're gonna be doing some protein muffins. Now, I'm excited for that for two reasons. First reason! Oh God! I'm just excited, okay? We got new names to the apron. Kavan, Larry, Colin, get free at 315. I just can't read upside down, it's really hard. Guyler, let's go, baby! Subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and then comment down below your Instagram handle, and I'll add you to the apron. We're gonna get cooking. We have to chop all this up, mix it all in a bowl, and then also make some damn muffins. Step one, oil up. Step two, slap of the meat. 16 ounces down the hatch. Next thing, flame on! You guys remember Fantastic Four, Flame On? Next up, we're, we're gonna be Master Chef Jesse here. We have a garlic bulb, we're gonna slice them nice and tiny. And then we have an onion that's with a G, and a bell pepper. We're gonna chop all these up. Once this meat is cooked, toss it in, and you get ready with this sloppy gray. While this is still cooking, the sloppy Greg, we are gonna be moving on to making the muffins. So we're gonna combine all the ingredients into a blender, blend it up, and then toss it. I just bought this. I am so proud, you have no idea. I even got little colorful cupcake holders. Greg, I'm doing it right. I mean, come on, am I? Let me know. And let's not forget to use code JESSE when doing anything transparent labs. You got one scoop of Runeski, and you just toss it right in there. And now it's anabolic. Anabolic just means low calorie, high protein for anyone that does, that does not know. Malfunction! Malfunction, Greg! It's not the ninja. I have a freaking neutral bullet. Listen, Greg, I moved out of my own. I gotta get a new one, okay? Sorry. Now I like my women just like I like my muffins. Sweet and thick. As you see, I have the nice trays laid out. Nice and bougie, I know. Boom. Oh, baby. And we're tossing it right on top. Of course, at 420. It's supposed to do 350, but... What are we doing in Jesse's kitchen? We have a nice sloppy Greg. I'm gonna do open face sandwiches, so that way I feel like I can eat more. So just toss a little meat right on her. Best way to get her going. Am I right, Greg? I think I'm right. Benji, doesn't that look amazing? Yes. He actually, he want, he's a good fish. He's such a hey. How was that, Anthony? Let's see how it goes. Okay, so we got a little bit of Greg in our mouth. Interesting. Sorry, Greg. That's really good. He made sure to drain the meat, so when you were done with the first round of cooking, you got all the oils out and then you did it. It's a little bit drier, but it's not a big deal. Coach Greg, you're killing it, man. This is definitely really tasty. I'm gonna have all four of them, see how full I get. We're gonna top ourselves off with some muffins afterwards. I think today's an amazing day, along with some liquid dopamine where you just can't go wrong. All I'm gonna say is that I'm chasing a million subs. I could use your support. Hit the subscribe button. Let's dive into this. The muffins are done, which means, stay with me, Sensei Greg. Last bite, best bite. Literally nothing beats it. Uh, uh, Jess? But last bite, best bite, baby. Oh, don't mind me. No pants is a rule in the house. We're now gonna give a shot to these uh, muffins. I replaced Greek yogurt with applesauce because I don't eat dairy and it kind of screwed up the recipe. So Greg, if I hate them, probably my fault. The applesauce is a bit overpowering, so I can't rate it on that. Overall, good texture, pretty solid, definitely lower calorie. I would say, I'm gonna give them a seven. They're still really good though, but only a seven. You want a muffin? Some people, man. For the Sloppy Greg, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Taste was absolutely phenomenal, definitely on point. The taste for the muffins, definitely a little bit of user error, but I would say a seven. You can blame me on that one. Satiation and fullness, both those, eight and a half. Creativity, off the damn charts, Greg. Off the charts, that's, I don't even think I need to add a statistic to that one. 10. You guys showed a ton of love on the last video where I skateboarded, so we're gonna go outside, and we're gonna go get some reps. Guys, welcome to 
Welcome to Skate 4, episode Jesse James West. That was my cardio for the day. I absolutely don't really enjoy ever want to do normal cardio, so that's why I did a little bit of skateboarding. If you guys want to see more skate content, definitely comment below and let me know. I'm gonna relax, go shower, get on to the next Greg Doucette cookbook number two meal. I hope you guys are ready to get your minds blown because you know what else is gonna be blown? Fire on the stove. Listen, we're gonna be cooking up a triple stack egg French toast with some cheese. So what we're gonna do. So all you need is some cheese, some egg whites, some huevos, I think that's eggs in Spanish, and you need some bread, and then you get cooking. We're just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. I think I'm gonna be extremely full, satiated, and it's pretty creative if you ask me. I didn't think of this myself. And yes, I know I need a haircut. One subscribe equals one hair cut on my head. Only one, so everyone's gotta subscribe if you wanna get a haircut. Oh, that's getting juicy. It's spitting back at me. We got some vegan cheese, so let's see how this goes. It reminds me of New Jersey. If you put ham on it. Greg, Jesse special, triple threat. Put some ham on here, maybe some Taylor ham, and you got a New Jersey freaking bagel, but healthy. Really, really good. It's large, it's kind of like, to me it's almost like an egg sandwich cake. That might make no sense, but in my head, it makes a whole lot of sense. And then tonight, we're gonna have some anabolic popcorn and put it to the test, see what it's really all about. But subscribe, because I really wanna get a haircut. That is fire! So good! <sighs> this is the most proper way to do it on the knees. Last bite, best bite, baby. Greg, just join, come on. So with that meal, we had 11 grams of fat, 57 grams of carbs, and 75 grams of protein. Phenomenal meal so far, and all I'm gonna say is mark my words, one day I'm gonna get Greg to say, last bite, best bite. Greg, I know you're watching this, and I know you're gonna say it one day. I'm just gonna at least act like you will, definitely. Overall, I'm gonna score that meal an 8.5 out of 10 for taste, a nine out of 10 for fullness, and for creativity, we'll give it an 8.75. Welcome back to another dish over here. Huh? I'm down here, buddy. Listen, welcome back to Jesse's TikTok emo kitchen, all right? Here we go, baby. We gotta do it right. Anyways, we're gonna be cooking up some anabolic popcorn as Greg Doucette advised me. Anthony, get over here. Get over here. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. Jordan, what can you do? <laughs> 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 this looks so stupid. <laughs> it was your organic banana. I figured you'd get really... <laughs> My organic bananas. Did I took mine? Hold up. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Why would you throw a banana in the living room? Back to the show. Back to the show. Get out. Don't, you're not. You're not allowed back. David was a better guest. You're thrilled to your chicken. Shut the door behind you. Right. Jesse's kitchen back in action. We're gonna toss the popcorn right in there. I don't have any smart pop. Greg, if you wanna roast me, here's your chance. Jesse, what's what's go? Ah. Uh. Little taste test for the boys key and the boys back at the home. Pretty damn good frozen. It's there a little go. bit of a movie night here in the in the West household. Anthony, come. Are, are we gonna watch our movie together? Movie apron? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it's really good frozen because like the chocolate part gets frozen, but the popcorn's still pretty average. We're gonna eat this entire bowl. Give a full, full in-depth scientific breakdown of exactly how I feel about this. Not only has Anthony left me, but so has every woman in my life. Valentine's Day is coming up. I am completely available. Just hit me up in the DMs. Anything works. Anything. Listen, I wish there was more. That's all I'm gonna say. Greg's right. Last bite, most certainly best bite of the night, because this I just want so much more. Greg, let me explain the last bite, best bite. The fact that there is no more, you must make it the best bite so you get rid of all cravings and just like settle down and it's like finding a girlfriend. What's the percentage Jesse has a girlfriend? I see you! 
Nine out of 10 for taste. Satiation, seven. I mean, it's just a snack. It's not really something you're looking to be full on. And creativity, we'll give it an 8.5 because there's room for improvement. And that right there is me a full wrap on today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Greg, kudos to you, great cookbook. It is Jesse James approved. I wanna thank you guys for watching this far. If you're new to the channel or you're not subscribed and you're watching, help me reach 1 million this year by hitting that subscribe button because only 48.5% of you watching this video are subscribed. I love you guys. Don't forget, stay relentless, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.